Hello, I'm Jason Higginbotham, optometrist and managing editor here at Myopia Focus. Myopia, also known as short-sightedness, um, really is just where light is brought into focus in front of the retina by the lens and the cornea of the eye. And that means that there's a point at some point in front of the eye that will be nice and clear, hence the term short-sightedness or near-sightedness. And when you start looking at the potential long-term effects of myopia, it is easier to appreciate why it is something that you need to know more about. If you're a parent who has a child who's been diagnosed with myopia, or if they are struggling with their distance vision, Myopia Focus can help you find out more about myopia and provides valuable advice and guidance. There are two main types of myopia, refracted myopia and axial myopia. Understanding how the eye works can make it easier to understand what exactly myopia is. A sensitive and intricate organ, the eye is designed to help us see and interpret the world clearly. In essence, it is a complex optical system which brings parallel light reflected from distant objects into focus on the back of the eye without the internal lenses at the front of the eye having to do anything at all. Unfortunately, myopia causes this optical system in a relaxed eye to incorrectly bring the light from distant objects into focus in front of the retina. One form of myopia is known as refracted myopia. It is caused by either one or more of the optical surfaces becoming too steep and or where the refractive index of the optical media is too high. The second form of myopia, which is known as axial myopia, is also the most common. In axial myopia, the optical system is correctly powered, but the eyeball has increased in length, increasing the focal length and causing light to be focused in front of the retina. Pretty much all children are actually born long-sighted, also known as hyperopia. Usually between the ages of two to four, a process where the eyeball gets a little bit longer and brings light into focus, a situation that we call emetropia, takes place. And that's normally where it will stop in most cases and people's vision then remains very, very good, often well into adulthood. However, in many cases, this elongation of the globe or, or steepening of the cornea continues and myopia, or short-sightedness, then develops. And in many cases, that might start roughly between the ages of four to five years of age. It can, of course, uh, happen slightly later in life as well. And there are many factors that also contribute to this beyond the natural growth that occurs in young childhood. No longer should myopia be simply dealt with by correcting glasses or contact lenses. It is now considered a duty of care to do what we can to help to slow the rate and amount of progression of myopia in all children and young adults. The benefit is a significantly improved prognosis for long-term eye health. The importance of the future eyesight of your child is priceless. Myopia Focus can help you find out more about myopia and provide you with valuable advice and guidance. So, please look around our site and then find and speak to a myopia specialist near you.